What's up everybody, this is Real Cool Adventures, and today we're catching lizards. <laughs> All right everybody, this is Real Cool Adventures. We just got a phone call from Cam the cameraman that he has a giant lizard that's trying to eat his children and possibly his cat. <laughs> the cat has these claw marks and teeth marks on its face. I don't know about the children yet, but I actually think this is the same lizard that last year was coming down the swing set and trying to prey on his daughter. And we're gonna show you right now how to catch this. So what I have here is a small stick and a string, and I'm gonna teach you how to make a, a slip knot. Now there's our noose. There's a million ways to do it. This is a real quick, easy way. You just take it, you fold it like this, do a quick overhand knot, like so, and back out. Really simple, keep that knot fairly small. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a knife, if I have one. Hold, hang on, follow me in a second. Coming out of my pocket. All right, just take a knife, I'm gonna cut this little tag end off. Okay, I'm gonna cut the excess off of here. Like so. Whoa. Okay, now I take that loop. Okay, all I did is make a little loop, little little knot. All you're going to do, and you can do this with any type of knot you know how to do, all you do is you just take this loop, sorry, my hand's in the way there, and you just simply push it through like so. Okay, now this is what you're gonna put around this is your noose now. So I'm gonna put that around the head of the lizard. I'm gonna pull it down like that, it's gonna go tight. Um, these lizards are known to be really mean and aggressive, so we're gonna be as careful as possible um, and try to get it out of here so it doesn't hurt the cat any more than it already did. The cat Tigger, we'll show you right now. Look at this cat's face, follow me for a sec. Look at the face of this cat. Tigger, smile for the camera. That's where this lizard has literally tried to eat the cat. I think it thinks it's like a giant kitten or something. I'm not sure. This is the most humane way to catch any type of lizard um, by just grabbing it around the neck and then you can dispose of it however you, you choose to. Um, but it's just a simple slip knot noose. Now the hard part is, is this lizard gonna take off? Possibly, is it gonna go on the roof? We're gonna have to get in the attic, I don't know. But we're gonna go right now and get catch this. Now that, that lizard is so camouflaged and elusive. It's called a green anole or a large. Lord, that's the largest of all the anoles, right? Yep. It's a giant anole. Some people call them night anoles. Looks like somebody already took some shots at it. You want me to catch him, Mackenzie? Yeah? What's the lizard's name? We named him Geico. 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 Well, Geico's about to meet Lasso right now. now I don't know how aggressive this thing is, but I know. pretty aggressive. A cat's aggressive? It's a cat versus Michael versus the iguana lizard. If that lizard drops, that cat's going after him. Oh, good. We're going to have a whole National Geographic scenario here. So, uh-oh. Wow, Michael tried to capture his prey. He has a vicious cat under him. Careful. He's trying to catch the lizard. So you just want to slip it over like that? Oh, my God. But I don't want to get the light fixture. Like, I have the light fixture right now. So that's the most humane oh way to catch this thing. Oh, he got he's... Geico! And this thing will bite you so bad. Well, now I've been told that they'll cut your finger off, so we're trying to avoid that. Whoa. Look at him. Oh, he's not happy. That's a lizard. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. That's you how you. Walk your dog with it. So. Now, I was, look at the colors on it. Cam, I'm not gonna let him go. Come zoom in on this thing. Look at how, that thing is really pretty and cool looking. See the, this feather that came out of his mouth right here? These things are known to eat small birds. Lauren had a little blue parakeet in her backyard and one of these, a, a larger one, literally sucked the parakeet through the side of the cage and killed it. So we don't really like these green anoles. Here in South Florida, people wonder why they're invasive. They eat the mockingbirds, they eat all the native birds. But look, that feather literally came out of that thing's mouth where he probably is 
chomping on. It's springtime, probably ate some type of little hatchling this morning. So, yeah. You gotta make sure you get a hold of him. Okay, and you just grab it like that. Now, the tip of its tongue, this guy is not happy. And I don't know if you can see it where his eyes actually beat up where he was battling the cat probably this morning. If I were to touch that thing right there in the tip, that has this real sticky mucus. I don't know if you can zoom in and see that. See when I pull it away? That is almost similar to a mouse trap or something of that nature. That's how it, when it grabs little bugs and stuff, they stick on there. And it's similar to a chameleon, except a chameleon can stick its tongue all the way out, zap its prey, sticks to it like glue and brings it back. Very similar, but not the same thing. Let's see if I can, if you can see how sticky that is. See that mucus coming off there? See it stretch out? And I do not want to stick. I think it knows the difference. If I stuck my finger in front of there right now, I guarantee you, yeah. How many of you think I should stick my finger in there? Maybe we could use it for some type of jewelry like that. Maybe some type of new earring. We could do that. What do you guys think? <laughs> no, but we're not gonna do that. I'd say stick your finger in there. Stick my finger in there? Mm. No. You're getting a little nervous? Yeah, I don't know. I don't recommend anybody stick their finger in there because these little chompers on the side. See that little serrated teeth? Right now, that would be a stupid thing to do because the hospitals are full of everybody with this pandemic. The last thing I need to do is go get some stitches. But let me look at it in the light here and see so you can see these colors. This guy wants to turn around and bite me so bad because look at that. You see it in the light? How cool is his eye? Watch his eye follow my finger. Little beautiful little, I mean, they're pretty. Obviously that's why people brought him here because they're so cool. I mean, they got a lot of colors. His body's cool, but they are super invasive, super mean, and actually looks like some type of crazy little dinosaur. Look at him, he just wants to go right for my face. Probably wants to bite my nose off. How many of you think we should eat this? Does anybody know any recipes or a way to eat these? If you'll leave that in the link down below, Maybe we'll, we'll come up with some type of recipe and eat these. I know we have some bigger ones that have some nice legs on them like that, and it looks very similar to a frog leg. And I would bet you money that they're edible. Actually, we're bonding now. Your nipple off. Whoa. I'm telling you, I feel like if I let go of him with my thumb, he would just take off. He's obviously not happy, because the cat's down there. He tried to eat the cat earlier, but Guys, look at those nails. Can you see that? The little things are sharp. Look at that. The guy is. But it's soft. I don't know. It's hard to tell through there. It may look really. Look at it. It's turning blue. How cool. It looks like dolphin. We should troll this thing for dolphin. No? They're shaking their head at me. Um, it's soft, though. It's not like any other reptile I've felt before. And I'm not a big reptile person. This thing's is super soft, like silky. Should make a nice purse. Like a little Barbie uh, Cuban anole purse. You guys want to pet it? No. No? Not, don't don't jump, stay still. Watch out, Lauren, no. stop, no. put the stick down. I'm not gonna throw it on you. you want to touch it? Promise. Kenzie, you want to touch it? Hey, Kenzie, you want to feel how soft he is? You want to touch him? Watch. You want to touch Keiko? <laughs> I won't let him hurt you. Look, feel how soft. You want to touch him? You want a soft lizard? You want to touch him? Here. Yeah, it's Go good. Ahead, try to touch him. Kenzie, come here. Feel how soft he is. Oh, he is soft. Feel him, Kenzie. You want to feel him? If you don't want to, you don't have to. But All right, so that's how you lasso lizards and save the cats and small birds in your neighborhood. Just take a stick, a little piece of string, do an overhand knot, slip it back through, and we'll see you on the next adventure. All right, all right. Look how cool the colors are in that thing. They're actually beautiful. Oh. Come here, buddy. Wow. Heel. I mean, he's completely comfortable. But look, he knows where home is. He knows that green color. He knows he can camouflage and hide in a matter of seconds. Probably one of the prettiest species, I think, of lizards down here. 
but they are super dangerous, super invasive. And that doesn't hurt him at all. I mean, it's just real soft on his neck. If you can see that knot, it'll come right off. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Like I'm not going to let him bite you. <laughs> Watch out. Now he knows. Oh, oh! Did you get that? Did you get that? Did you get that jumping lizard? That, I'm telling you, they will come right after you. Watch, I'm not gonna let them get you. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> that is the most aggressive. Ow! <laughs> if I knew this was gonna happen, we would have all steel toed boots. Oh! <laughs> That's all you do. That's how to lasso a lizard. And then to undo it, you simply just hold his head down, get a hold of him, and do not let go. If you don't want to lose your finger or whatever you have around you, the last thing you want to do is hold on to it really weak. The same way you do a moccasin or some type of snake, you do not want that thing to get you. And this knot just comes right off, just slips over. You can do this with monofilament. This is what we're using here is an 80 pound braided line. Um, you can do it with a, sh a shoestring if you had to, anything you have laying around the house. And that's, it's, I mean, he's obviously not hurt. He's ready to go. And uh, how pretty is that thing? That's it. That's how you lasso a green anole. That's the largest of the, of the uh, anole species right here. That's actually a Cuban uh, anole, excuse me. Some people call them the night anole. And uh, just the reason they call them the night anole, I think, is because they get on things and they turn dark, but they, they feed daytime and nighttime. So that's not true that they feed more at night. A lot of people mistake these for an iguana. They look really similar. similar. Um, the only difference is, well, I mean, obviously there's a whole bunch of differences, but to me, the most aggressive, invasive part of these are they, that they eat meat. I mean, they, they actually, a lot of people don't know, some people like these around their house because they're known to eat mice, you know, because they eat meat. They, they love little rats and mice, but they also love fingers, whoa, and uh, any type of small bird. This is a big male, see the, see his, uh, way he struts. Shows his little thing there. The gizzard. Little gizzard. Look how pretty that is. Before we wear him out and scare him too much, we're going to take him, and I have a friend that's been calling me and asking me for a lizard so he can do a, a demonstration with him. We're going to go ahead and give it to one of the local vets and let him uh, do something with it. So we hope you enjoyed it. It's Real Cool Adventures, and that's how to noose a lizard. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit like, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Yeah.